Good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? My name is Michael. And I'm Dion. And welcome to Misfits Adventures. Hey, we're going for a ride. You want us to know where we're going? Well, I hope you're coming along with us. Uh, we are going out into the desert. Uh, we are going down to Indio. We have uh, something we have to do today, and we're gonna take you with us. So, hop in the back, let's go. Well, hey, guess what, guys? We're here, where are we? Indio. We're in Indio, and uh, look, it is an RV park. Lots of snowbirds here. And uh, we have a meeting, so uh, we're waiting for somebody to talk to. And uh, we'll let you know how that goes in just a few minutes, right? Yes. But look, they've got a nice pool here, too. Cool. All right, we're going to go inside and uh, talk to some folks, all right? Well, we went inside, we talked to some nice folks, and we got a job. And uh, it's an RV park here down in Indio, California. And uh, we start in a couple weeks. Dion's gonna give her notice that she already did at uh, O'Reilly's. And uh, she's sad about that, but she's gonna leave. And this is a nice park. It's got a swimming pool, jacuzzi. It's got, uh, oh, two ponds. Its grounds are immaculate. Um, I'm gonna be in maintenance, and Dion's gonna be reservations and front desk. We met everybody, and everybody seems to be really super nice and super chill. So that is a good thing. And uh, yeah, we're gonna start here. So we've got some plans, guys, we're moving on. No more staying at my sister's house, right? Right. Okay. All right, guys, so we're gonna uh, drive around a little bit and I'll show you a couple pictures that we took. And uh, yep, we're gonna check out the area over here. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, this is a few days afterward. And uh, yeah, we got the job. And uh, actually, it's about a week after. Uh, they called today, background checks came in, everything's good. And uh, we'll be leaving here in probably a week. And we'll be there and start working. So we'll tell you where we're going as soon as we get there. And we'll do a video on that. Uh, we've been trying to get everything ready right now. We've got the generator. Uh, it's all almost ready to go. I've got to drain the well, gas out of it and, and try to start it a few times, get some new gas in it. And then uh, we got uh, a bunch of other stuff done. We got the water heater done, you saw that. We've got the water pump in. Uh, what else did we do today? Uh, today we took off the awning. I didn't show you or the, uh, the cover that we put over the top of the camper, that little camouflage netting. Uh, we got rid of it, folded it all up, put it away until next time wherever we use it and then uh, max this morning uh, we took him to the vet early this morning i didn't record it because i didn't go but uh, dion and i are going to go pick him up because it's going to take two of us to hold him or whatever we don't know how he's going to be uh, he had his upper tooth on his right side um, in the back he had it extracted out so that had to hurt uh, he's never been without dion he's never been left anywhere without dion and we left him there all day and she walked away and he was just like, what? So uh, yeah, we're kind of sad and we hope everything's good. They called us up and said you can come pick him up in a little bit. So that's what we're on our way to do now. Uh, I'm gonna go pick up Dion and we're gonna drive out to Colton and we're going to go ahead and pick up Max. And then we'll see how Max is. Here, you wanna see a bunny? Look, see the bunny? We got all these cottontail bunnies everywhere. Hey bunny bunny. See him? Yep. 
they got holes everywhere around here. But they love the barn because all the wood's in the barn. Yep, see, he's over there. He's going to get in. That's his hole. Maybe not. Pretty cute. There's a hole right there. Little bunnies. Yep. All right, guys, I'm going to go over and pick up Dion. Uh, and after that, we're going to drive out to Colton, pick up Max. And then uh, we'll see how he is. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, actually, right now, so it's really not morning. Uh, weather's supposed to have been raining all day. I know up in the mountains it's snowing. They said the snow level right now is about uh, 4,000 feet. You can see all the clouds up that way. Yeah, so... Hasn't snowed here yet, so we don't know. All right, guys, we're on our way to go pick up Max. All right, so we're almost to the vets. Dion got out of work real quick and it's right here after these trash cans someplace where all those cars are parked, I believe. All right, so I'm going to set down the uh, camera and we're going to walk inside here. Ooh, we're here. All right, we're going to go pick up our, our little boy. Is this sad? Yeah. Have him tooth out. All right, so we're gonna go pick up Max and we'll be right back out. All right, so Max just got out. Uh, they only pulled one tooth, which is good. Uh, they showed it to us just now, it's right here. I don't know if you wanna look at a bloody icky tooth, but that's Max's tooth. And he's gotta take some antibiotics for a couple, couple days. And he's gotta take some pain meds for today and tomorrow and probably the next day. I think they gave him three or four or five. So he takes a half of one of those. And he's going to be okay. He, uh, he probably needs water, but we can't give him anything yet. It's like, looks like a person when they go and see his tongue's all wrinkled -y. That's because he needs some water. So we're going to go on home and let him rest, and Mommy's got to go back to work, right? Yep. Okay. Looks like he's doing okay. They said he was fine, so. Yep. He didn't even come up to Dion. He was so mad at her. He just walked right by her. He walked right by her and came to me and loved on me. Like, Daddy, Mommy took me here. Oh, well. He still loves her. Look, he's on his lap. You want to give Mommy kisses? Can you give Mommy a kiss? No, no kisses for Mommy. Because I ain't kissing nobody, y'all. Bad people. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to head on home. i got to take Dion back to work and get Max in the house. And uh, we'll see you later. Uh, probably going to not do anything for the rest of the day today. Uh, today is Monday, but tomorrow we're gonna go out and I got to get the tires rotated um, I got to fix that generator get the everything all changed out in it and uh, start getting ready Because we're leaving in a week. Yep. All right guys Say bye Max said, No, don't want to say goodbye to nobody <laughs> Hey everybody it is a couple days later Max is doing just fine now he uh there, I'll show you Max. Oop, Max. There's Max. Hey, come here. Max. Come here. You want to say hello to everybody? Say I'm doing better? Yep, he's barking. He's, he's doing good. He's still going to have his uh, antibiotics and doggy downers and all that good stuff. But he's doing good. So, we are trying to get out of here. Uh, we're going to be out probably in about five days and uh, we got things we have to do. Uh, important thing <laughs> right now we're doing, and that is uh, getting her car fixed. Yeah, you know those squirrels that ate my stuff? The wires? Well, they ate her wires. They ate her O2 sensors, and they're easy to get to kind of like. Uh, she got the new wire. Uh, she was gonna get all new O2 sensors and put them in, and then the guy goes, I don't think so. I think they're just eaten by varmints. So we understood that immediately and went ahead with it. And so today we're going to go drop off the car. Uh, he didn't open up till uh, eight, so it's about nine o'clock now. And we're going to zip on over there, drop it off. We got other errands to do today. Uh, have to get change of address forms, and we also need to uh, oh uh, fix the generator, or at least get the generator in the back of the truck. Uh, we got two batteries that we've been saving. Uh, that came off the camper last year sometime yeah and or a year before whenever that was 
anyways, uh, we're going to turn those in. I've been carrying them around. There's no sense in carrying them around without using them. I'm not going to do that anymore. So we're going to turn them in 10 bucks a piece, get an oil change. Oil change for the truck is going to cost about $100, about $90. Bucks. Uh, two quarts of oil, 40 bucks a piece. That's 80 And then the uh, filter on it and then getting somebody to do it. So that's about $100 also. But it's got to be done. Um, we're not going that far. No. But it still needs to be done before we leave and go down and if we can get people up here to do it. Because they, we, Dio knows all these people and they're going to do it for pretty cheap. Then, uh, yeah, that's better to do it here and then wait and then have to drive all the way up here. So we're going to go get all this stuff done. Uh, we got more stuff to do this week. We got to pack everything up. Oh, sun's out today. Got to pack everything up and uh, get the truck packed. Yep. And we'll be out of here, man. We are leaving Monday. So today is Wednesday, so we got a few more days. I'm going to work on this video. Uh, you're not going to see us leaving on this video. It'll probably be the next one. So uh, I'll be working on this one probably, I don't know, in the next couple days. Um, I got to get my tires rotated. I got to get my oil changed on the truck. She's got to get these things fixed. Uh, she's already had her oil changed. She's already had her tires rotated. So we found a guy that does uh, tire rotation for 20 bucks. So. All right, guys, we are going to get into the truckster and we are going to drive over to this guy's shop and drop off her car and then do our errands and then come on back because Dion has to go to work today. So she's working out her last week until Saturday. And then after that, yay, she's off. <laughs> so she might not work Saturday. They said that they might not need her, so she might not. But we've got things to do. we got Saturday and Sunday to get the heck out of Dodge. Yes, we do. So we got the tarp off. Look, we got it off the top. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, hot water fe heater's fixed. Yes. Uh, what else? So the step is back to normal. Yes. We got lights to put on the side. Yeah, we got lights. Um, you know those lights up there? I don't know if you can see them. Those lights up there we've had since we started. Yeah, 29 palms. 29 palms we got them. And I think there was $36 for four of them. Well, we got six of them for 36 bucks and the difference between the ones that are hanging up now and the ones we just got they got an on and off switch on the outside of them and not in the back of them where you hang them so you actually we could turn them on and off yeah. i'm really psyched on that one I, dion's gonna love it because when we were driving at night coming up uh highway 80 going into donner summit and lake tahoe reno area it was like every time some car passed this light would turn on hi everybody <laughs> it's like no that's not good we're probably gonna get in trouble but we didn't get in trouble thank god all right guys so we're gonna get in the truckster and we're gonna take off max is going with us he's so happy all right guys here we go so dion took it to west coast uh smog and they do uh smog detection uh that's a big thing here they do your uh tailpipe and they see the emissions that comes out so this is the people that are going to do it for her and uh, she delivers to them and she works with them all the time when she's a delivery driver but normally she's the manager system manager so all right guys uh she's going to go drop that off we're going to go and try to get the tires changed maybe or some other errands we'll be back with you in just a second all right so we took it in it's not the smog place what was the name Rafe's. Rafe's. Rafe's here in Loma Linda. Um, so the O2 sensor wires to the O2 sensors uh, on top, right? They're all on top. Uh, both of those wires got eaten by varmints at my sister's house. So this is another reason why we want to leave because it's costing us money just to stay there because she doesn't want to kill varmints. So I don't know, if you got a bunch of gray squirrels and they're eating all your crap on your property and, and giving fleas to your dogs that you're breeding, I think maybe it's about time you got an exterminator I don't know not my property not my problem was my problem not anymore so we are gonna go to the post office go get some change of address forms we're gonna go get a bunch of other stuff and uh, yeah Max looks like he's doing well we got to give him his antibiotics and his uh, medication for his pain doesn't look like he's in any pain but all of a sudden he'll start crying like last night about 8 o'clock so yeah, got to have the pain meds on him. He's like, I'm not, I don't want to be uncomfortable, Dad. I think his mouth is working because his tongue's coming out more. And he doesn't have bad breath, and that's a really good thing, yes. right? <laughs> his breath was like, okay, Max, hi, how you doing? Don't come up here and let me know more. 
All right, guys, uh, we're gonna go to the post office. Uh, we're gonna try to get the generator on the back of the truck today. Uh, we're gonna take the batteries in so I can get the oil change and maybe tomorrow I can go get an oil change or something like that. Yeah. Or by Friday. Today is Wednesday. Uh, so Wednesday, uh, she's gotta work all afternoon and all evening. She goes in at one and she gets out at 10.30. And I know that's a long day, isn't it? And then, uh, yeah, we got more plans coming. I'm gonna tell you about some more things. Uh, we have we have our job that we're going to now and that's gonna last up until May Or just before May. We're not sure yet um, Depending on the job for the summer the summer job is going to start it's supposed to start the 15th of April But if it's still snowing up there, and it's still cold, and we can't get up there um, The people realize that and they said it's okay, and we'll work that out. So sometime 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 we're going to <laughs> I don't know which one we're going to be late for or we're going to leave early. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I hope we don't have to leave early because I would like to do the um, the gotcha. last two weeks or, or last month. Actually, I guess it's the last two weekends or weeks. Uh, they have Coachella Fest and Stagecoach. Uh, Stagecoach is first and it's a country uh, bands. All the country bands come out to Coachella and they do the same thing as they do with Coachella Fest. And that's more indie bands, rock bands, all different types of bands and uh, that's a big festival that I'm sure everybody's heard about Coachella uh, but they have campers coming in and they've got at least two to three thousand people that are coming already they know they have sold out on everything so that's pretty much why they really need us there uh, not for right now this minute but uh, there's a lot of work to be done on the property I guess and everybody there is new from what we understand and we sat and talked to them for like 40 minutes 50 minutes and really super, super nice people. So it's gonna be fun working for those people and with those people and being a great team and uh, yeah, being part of their team. I, I like that, huh? I like it. Yeah. So we're gonna go do some errands and then we're going to uh, go back to the house, feed back some oatmeal and put some of his pills in it because he likes oatmeal every morning and that's a good thing. And then uh, Dion's going to work and I'm gonna try to edit some of this video and see how much more um, I might not do the oil change today depending on if I can find somebody if I can do the oil change and tire rotation at the same time that would be really good uh, but we'll see so uh, all right guys all right so we went to uh, the guys that, that were gonna rotate the tires and they said to come back in about 20 30 minutes so we're gonna come up here we are already at the post office we're gonna get our change of addresses, so we're gonna run in real quick, fill all those out, drop them back in the box there, so it will be instantaneous and we won't have to wait for our mail and sending it to them and doing all the stuff and missing mail in between. So that's what we're gonna do right now, and then we're gonna go back and get the tires rotated. Max is uh, feeling himself because he's been whining and crying all the time he's in the car, and that's what he normally does, so everything's good now with Max. Well, that's done. Did I tell you it's cold outside? Yeah, we got snow on the mountains uh, yesterday. It rained a lot. I mean, when it rained, it really rained like a, like a Mississippi or a Florida rain. It rained really good and hard. Uh, but they got probably a good four feet of snow up in the mountains. Even the tippy tops of the mountains, uh, you can see a little bit of snow up there. We'll show you that in a few minutes. Uh, got the change of address in. Tire rotations next. Go home and lift up that heavy generator. Put it up on the thing. Got to drain the oil gas everything out of it or at least the uh, gas out of it we changed the oil but i think we'll do that again anyways yep so that's what we're going to do now going back to get the tires done I just want to show you, I finished this off the other day, so I cut this back down. Yeah, it works pretty good. I'm thinking on the other side over here, since we are pretty close, I've got another piece of wood, I'm going to put it on here and then when it, we pull it out, it will fold down and we'll have a bigger table on this side when we fold this out. So, yeah, pretty cool, huh? We are... Uh, gonna finish getting all this stuff up all this we'll do uh, day before we leave you won't see that because this video will be out and uh, today we're gonna go get the oil changed in the truck 
and I want to put the generator up on top of the truck and uh, generators right there but uh, I don't want it to leave it on the truck for four or five days before we leave we've got like four days when we're leaving so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get these batteries out take them out of their container and we're gonna turn them back in uh, the battery boxes are over here and uh, yeah I got two of them and we're gonna go ahead and dump them out leave the batteries back uh, the boxes here and then uh, take the batteries in and get them returned I get we get ten bucks ten bucks is gonna go that's twenty dollars for the two of them that's gonna go for an oil change today so all right let's do this the front wheels work yeah they do all right I'm gonna take these batteries over to the truck put them in the back go take them into O'Reilly's and then uh, go get an oil change. Yeah, I've been carrying these batteries around too long. Little varmints out here. <laughs> We surely, we sure got a lot of stuff to do before we leave, that's for sure. So this is just part of it, getting the oil changed, uh, turning in these batteries. Uh, we're gonna wash the truck. Yep. All right guys, so we're gonna go over to O'Reilly's. Uh, we're gonna change these batteries out. Uh, actually, we're, there were uh, deposits left on them. We were gonna keep the batteries and we were gonna use them with our system, but there's nowhere to put them. So, uh, We've been keeping them and putting them outside and just leaving them sit there. And I think it's just time to get rid of them when, we, when it's time for us to get solar. We'll get the right batteries for that and that will work better. But as right now, these batteries, these batteries right here will be going back to O'Reilly's. And uh, yeah, we'll get a, we'll get a change of uh, oil with it. I need, uh, Two five quarts because this takes nine quarts of oil, eight, eight and a half to nine, and uh, that's like thirty-five dollars for each one of them. So I need two of those and a filter, and we got a guy that's going to do it. He's going to meet us up at O'Reilly's to do it. He does it for everybody up there. So, all right, we're on our way. Well, guys, we're going to wrap up this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. We're trying to get out of here as fast as we can. Uh, we got almost everything done. Problem is, Dion's been working and she's been closing every night. So she goes in at 1 to 10 and then she's home by about 10.30. Um, so we can't get a lot done in the mornings, but we can get a little bit done. Uh, the generator we're going to put on tomorrow. Uh, we're going to finish everything else up, collapse everything, uh, fold everything up. And by Sunday, the truck will be loaded. And uh, Monday morning, we're just going to have to do the hoses. And uh, that means the sewer hose that we have, uh, what, let's see, uh, 30, 60, about 62 or 65 feet of sewer hoses. And then we have like 150 feet of uh, white um, RV hose uh, for our water. Got to roll that up. Got to lock up and stow away the, um, the Starlink. And then we also have to take the cable, or not the cable, but the satellite dish. We have a dish network thing and we uh, get that all and pack that all up. So uh, we're gonna show that, but we're not gonna show it till next week. So meanwhile, till next week, we're gonna say goodbye. And until we say goodbye, hey, do me a big favor and uh, go right below here and uh, click on the like button. And then after you click on the like button, do the subscribe. And then after the subscribe, go ahead and ring that bell over there. When you ring the bell, uh, you get notifications every week that we have a video. And that usually is on every Sunday morning at 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, Dion is at work right now still. I'm trying to finish this video up. Uh, it's a short one. It's about, uh, oh, I don't know, about 26, 27 minutes. I uh, hope you guys like it. And uh, you've been watching it all this time, so I hope you did like it. And I guess we'll see you next week. Uh, you can always get on our website, Misfits Adventures. That's M-S-F-I-T-Z-S Adventures at gmail.com. 
and uh, when you get on that we have our patreon account with patreon just read what it says right here uh, patreon makes us have a community um, for my content and people all get together all like-minded people that enjoy watching our videos and chat and talk and, and uh, introduce ourselves to each other and uh, you get out of our comfort zone uh, that's a good way also to help us support our channel uh, if you guys give us a you know every month a couple of bucks two or three dollars it at least helps pay for our uh, internet helps us pay for our, our editing software which I'm doing right now and it also pays for uh, the music that I get so just the music and this is like sixty dollars a month that I pay no matter what so uh, I appreciate you guys and we love y'all and we hope that you stick with us uh, things are gonna get better we're leaving here uh, next week's video will be really good because it's uh, leaving here and uh, finishing packing up and leaving uh, and getting over to Indio and working at the place we're gonna be now working at so we're back to work camping. I hate city life. I hated this for the minute I got here. So, Dion loved it. So, she had eight months of having fun and working a real job and meeting a lot of cool people and uh, learning a really good job because later on she could always do this job. Uh, I did it for four years and it was fun. I enjoyed working for O'Reilly's when I did and I know she really enjoys working for O'Reilly also. So. All right, guys, uh, be good, be kind, come back and see us next time. Like I said, scroll down, give us a big like, give us a, a share, tell all your friends about us. We're trying to build. We're trying to get uh, paid by YouTube, and with your help, we can do it. So uh, come back and see us next Sunday. Bye, guys.